Welcome to this presentation, Protecting Patients Against Falsified Medicines Using Tamper Evidence Seals. Our tamper evidence seals comprise of authentication, coding, and tamper evidence. And in fact, authentication, coding, and tamper evidence form a strong packaging trilogy. But if one of them is not state-of-the-art, or even missing, it opens the door to falsified medicines. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about two different types of seals. Firstly, multi-layered customized void seals. And secondly, dry peel void for clean and dry removal. Let's first look at the multi-layered customized void. Here's some of the more simple labels. You can see the temper evidence, the die cut, and the perforations and all of our labels are always machine appliable so you can see they just peel off on a label applicator once the label has been applied onto the box you can see it's translucent or transparent so if there's some writing underneath it's not going to disturb it we place the perforation at the opening once you try to remove it if you don't open it at the perforation you try and remove it and put it on another box, you can see the word open appear. And the word open is always in register. So all of the void messages that we have on these labels are in register and always at the same place, which is a nice authentication. So the word open is on both sides. If you try and remove it, it breaks. Let's put it on again. In this case here, you'll see I put it on the dark surface and we're just going to pop it open as a patient would do and pop it opens there at the perforation which has been put directly at the opening of the box now let's go and, and, um, and include a hologram this is a translucent holographic foil again with a perforation it has special die cuts inside the foil so that you cannot remove it in one piece but the patient gets the assurance he's the first one opening it with this nice holographic foil which can also be customized according to the brand and you can see here it splits when opening now let's include also coding onto the label here you can see a label with a machine readable part in this case a QR code can be a 2D whatever it also has a holographic part and a human readable part so here when you put it on the box you've got part of it is holographic covering some writing doesn't matter you've got the human readable alphanumeric digits and the machine readable QR code and you can see a very high precision of printing let's look at a live example with an example with AstraZeneca you can see the die cuts and you can see a perforation in the middle and it's half of it is holographic and half of it is transparent. Again, machine appliable. We'll just peel off the liner and be applied directly onto the box. You can see half is holographic and it's got the, co the, the word AstraZeneca printed in high precision and the same on each box. Let's look at another label, also a relatively simple looking label. When this one is removed from the liner and applied to the box, you'll see that it's a translucent label in a pink color colors of course are flexible here we can also still read through the label but it's very clear the box has been sealed and the patient is then assured he's the first one to open the box and it hasn't been tampered with you can see a little bit there the perforations and the die cuts when you pop it open at the perforation you can see that's how it happens and if you try and remove it again you get the word open which is in register every label the word open is written in the same place and when you remove it you've got this one label in your hand and you cannot put it back on again without it being very obvious and here if you split it that's actually splitting it at the perforation and you have the two parts of the label let's look at the dry peel void for clean and dry removal examples. 
Now in these labels we can also include a microtext inside the void. So when you remove the label you can use a simple magnifying glass or even with the human eye you can read the microtext which is then also customized to the brand. Let's look at a live example. Here's a label with the word Sanofi written on it and when you put this one on the box again you put the perforation at the opening of the box and it would be machine applied. You've got the word Sanofi on both edges and the box is uh, and the label is also translucent trans translucent so you can read through it but once you remove it suddenly you get the word open appear and you also see that there's a blue band there. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Now when you take off the label again you've got the word open. Now let's look at that box when it's sealed. That's what it looks like when it's sealed. Now if you take the label off that's what it looks like when it's unsealed. So you can see a very clear message has been left on the box and that blue band is in fact the microtext. And the microtext has been revealed. If you look closely that's the word Sanofi written in microtext. Here's another example with the Sanofi type label. This one's slightly yellow. You can see here that it's been sealed. The patient is very can be very assured he's the first one to open the box. And again here when you try and remove the label you get the word open, appear, uh, open appearing and the word Sanofi and it's a dry peel void which means you can't put it back on the box. It's got no more tack to it. If you tried to put it back on it's very obvious it's been opened and the patient would be careful if it's already been opened it, and it's, there's the perforation when you break it. Now let's look at coding. Let's presume that the box has already been coded and we want to put a label over the code. We use this um, checkered holographic foil integrated into the label and you would apply for example this label over the code. You can see here there is a code underneath but you don't have enough of the code to read it. It's covered by the checkered holographic foil. The two red parts are lift-off latches making it easy for opening and we can even put print the word open there to make it even more obvious. But when again when you open this label you get the word open you can see it's very clear and once you take the whole label off you can then read the code if it was alphanumeric or in this case machine readable and it's again it's a dry peel void you cannot put it back on again. The last example is very similar in this case we just use a holographic foil completely covering the data matrix so that when you do put it on the box and wrap it around the corner this case you're completely covering the uh, the code. This could be for example for high value products you could cover the code and then the person who's actually opening it could be authenticating it maybe a doctor or a surgeon or a nurse or even the patient depending on the situation. And again here when you reveal the label, open the label you reveal what was actually there, bef uh, what is what was printed underneath. So our production of, of tamper evidence seals is in a secure environment of course it's GMP conform. We have our own research department so that we can define it to your needs. On top of that we're a member of the International Anti-Counterfeiting Association as well as an active member of the ISO Standard Committee TC247 for fraud countermeasures and tools. So therefore we're really the right partner. We already, already deliver to more than 30 countries globally. We're set up for large-scale production, we offer tailor-made solutions, and we're specialists in high-volume coded labels. So as you can see, we have a very nice range of products, and we can help you, and we look forward to hearing back from you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.